What you doing, Lou? I'm just removing a worm servo. The only thing you really have to do is wiggle it a little bit and then just pull it straight out. Past couple of weeks I've been meaning to change worm servo, so I thought I'd video it and share it with everyone. Here's a black one, a white one, and a prototype. The worm servo comes in a package just like this. Doesn't include the skid fixing accessory. This piece right here. So you might want to save that if you're removing it. So one of the first thing you probably would do is to take off the skid landing mounting pipe. And all you have to do here I'm showing you is just unscrew it and pop it right out. To take out the worm server all you do is give it a firm pull, wiggle it a little and pull it right out. And you're going to notice this three pins receptor that aligns directly to pins that is on the Tele H500. To put it back, you just slide it right straight in, give it a firm push, and you're going to hear a snap and it mm -hmm. tell you that it's been in place all the way in, so you're going to have to push it all the way in. To put the mounting pipe back, all you do is uh, align that little wedgy part of it and just slide it right in and you're going to see it lock, it's not going to twist anymore. And you just have to screw it back on. That's about it. Simple. We hope you find this tutorial useful. Subscribe and see you the next time. And now a short preview of some of our recent FPV projects for the Missing Children Network.